Nick Nolte, like his father before him, hunts across hundreds of thousands of acres of the Namibian bush. His territory ranges from the heartland of this sparsely populated country to the wild spear of the Caprivi Strip that thrusts into Botswana and Zimbabwe. Nick, have you been up in the Caprivi area? No, no, never have. More flat, no mountains, big rivers like the Okavango River, yeah. the Chobi, Nanyati, a lot of elephant up there, a lot of hippo, also a nice area to hunt buffalo. Among all the Namibian game, though, the eland may be the sternest test. Two species of these enormous antelope inhabit Africa. The common eland is found across the east and down into the south, while the giant eland's home is central and far western Africa. Mick? Yeah. The elands were drinking here. Elang bull? Yeah. I guess fresh droppings here. Looks like a few bulls, according to the tracks. Let's give it a shot. I hadn't seen the hide of an eland yet. We'd seen a lot of spore. I'd seen a lot of eland tracks. I had been told that some of these tracks were very big tracks. It's been almost 45 minutes. We've gone, what, two, 300 yards from the truck. Yeah, time to move on. It's quite a flat area. Here and there, you have the big rubber beds, and so we can move up this way and see. Maybe we're lucky. Diligence, wrote Miguel de Cervantes, is the mother of good fortune. But as the tracking across the grassy plains turned into hours of trudging, we were experiencing more diligence than good fortune, and far more than Eland, as ephemeral as smoke. Well, now this is becoming just all too familiar. We spot all manner of fresh spore, palm it up, only to realize that they've gone into the heavy cover where we would have just about a snowball's chance at hell of finding them. It's a very big track. Hour eight and still looking. At last, it seemed as if the diligence Cervantes spoke of was going to bear good fortune when Nick spotted a flash of an eland bull on the fringe of the thorn cover. Back these eelands just keep on running now. Yeah. And just, it's, it's late already. <sighs> we nearly got them there. Just, this, just too much brush. Yeah. Yeah. I saw the, uh, the big bull. For an instant in my scope, but that was it. Oh well. We got now two days on this uh, island. We took off we're in, in the direction where we saw them the day before, but we couldn't find that island, so we we spot some other island balls which were just finished drinking water and feeding back to the thick bush where they came from that early morning. Do you see that big tree? Yeah. Just on the left there, some island walking there. Got him. Shot. The animal is down there. Let's go take a look. Let's go closer. You know, I think in the whole time I've been hunting, I don't think I ever have worked any harder than what we did for the, that eland. And it was frustrating after a while, but here's, this is the cool thing about hunting. The frustration has to be a part of it. It's almost like it doesn't count unless there's a bit of that involved. 
And it is true that the, the, the value of the trophy to the hunter is in direct proportion to the effort that it took to harvest that animal. And so this eland, if I live to be 110, and that thing's hanging on my wall, I will be telling my great-grandchildren the story of walking for two and a half days to get that son of a gun. This 375, this psycho that I've got, uh, is my third safari with it. I don't think I've had to take over two shots on anything, and most of them fall to that first one. So I'm, I'm very happy with this rifle. I'm very happy with the ammunition. It's a nice one. Congratulations, Mac. Uh, whew, thank you. Thank you very much. Another stalk. Another stalk? You call this just another stalk? This was an expedition. <clears throat> Getting to the sky. Very, very Good nice. Lord. You must just never stop trying. I have to thank you again for putting me on these animals. Thank you. You and the guys who work with you. Staying with it. Knowing the sign, following it up. And putting me within shooting distance of this guy. It's just... This has been a really, really pleasurable hunt. Hard work involved in a lot of it, but really a pleasurable hunt. <laughs>